Tiffany, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. This is so dope. Uh, oh, we, you know, we're all fans. Me, you guys. You know, we're all fans. You know what I'm saying? We're all fans. Uh, it feels as if we came up. I love with that you. you got my Dodgers. Let's go my all day. Hat on. That's right. Have you been a Dodgers fan for life? Well, I'm from LA. I'm a fifth generation uh, California girl, and I'm like, no, actually, sixth generation. My daughter's mm -hmm. seventh. How crazy is that? So, of course, I love the Dodgers. I have Amazing. to. I'm from here. You know, I ask because there's a lot of people in LA and they're fans of someone else or, like, you know, another team. And it's like, but you're from LA. What are you doing? Makes I think no it's a, sense. I think it's a crime. What do you mean? What other team? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm from LA. No, I used to work with a guy, and he was like a, you know, he was a, uh, uh, a Yankees fan, born and raised in Los Angeles. Oh. And I'm like, dude, whatever, man. You gotta stop being friends. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Then he's totally turning his back on Los Angeles. Look, I lived in New York for many, many years. Uh -huh. And it's not that I wouldn't support the Yankees while I was there, but I'm an LA girl. Come on, man. Ride or die. Yeah. You feel it's me? Just, it's just like my, my, my husband is from Houston. So, you know, we have debates all the time. Whoa. Okay. So with the Astro situation, Whoa. that must have been tense at the house. How was that? Yeah. How did, it yeah, was I mean, pretty intense. My daughter would even go back and forth. She'd be, she'd be like, mommy, I think I like the, Do I, I, mean, I think I like no. the Dodgers better. And she put a hat on and then my, my, you know, husband would be like, but you're half Houstonian. You can't do that. <laughs> oh God. I know. Right. Sports can be, uh, can divide a family, can divide so much. Can divide a family, but it didn't divide us, it's okay. That's great, no, honestly, that's awesome. Deliciousness <laughs> premieres December 14th. Uh, yes. You know, uh, produced by, executive produced by Rob Deerdeck. This is the spinoff, yeah. Ridiculousness. Yep. This is a major thing, Tiffany, this is major, this is MTV. You're making pop culture history here. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, <laughs> you know, because there's the food. I feel like food. I made pop culture. I made pop culture many, many years ago. Now I'm just coming around again, right? Nah, yeah, you're still doing it. You're still doing it. You see, you feel me? You're still doing it now. This show, uh, you're having a lot of fun on this show, obviously. There's a lot of uh, oh my food gosh. fails and a lot of viral food fails as well. A lot of stuff that can make so you it, gag it's basically, as well. it's, yeah, it's basically, it's, it is. It's a spinoff of Ridiculousness. My husband's a huge fan of that show. Oh, um, my. So it, it, it would, it, I literally, when I got the call, I was like, oh my gosh, my husband will love me even more <laughs> if I do this show. Um, and it's been so much fun. We have a great cast, really lots of, of funny people on the show. We've got Angela Kinsey from The Office. Mm -hmm. um, we have Kel Mitchell, um, funny man, and, and another guy named Tim Chatterongsu. I have never laughed on a job harder than I have on this show. And I oh, hope cool. it goes many, many, many seasons because it is so much fun. I literally feel like I'm like hanging out with these cool folks and we're talking trash and laughing and giggling <laughs> and sometimes drinking on the side. <laughs> I, I love that. You have to. Hey, listen, nothing wrong with that. You know, if it gets you through the day, get you through the day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So did you get a call from Rob directly? How did this all come about, Tiff? No, actually, it came all through MTV. So mm -hmm. I was actually at the time shooting my Netflix show called Alexa and Katie. Um, and, uh, I got a call saying that MTV wanted to meet about a new show that they wanted to talk to me about. And so I, of course, took the meeting. Um, and then when I heard it was a spinoff of Ridiculousness, I was like, oh, I know what this show's about. So, mm -hmm. and the fact that it was all food based and, and, you know, a, a huge part of my other side of my career is all food. I was, I was all up for it. I said, where's, where's the sign? Where's the signage I need to sign? Like, where's the contract? Sign me up. I'm done. Yeah, you guys are having so much fun on the show. And like you said, you know, you never laugh so much on a show. Like, you guys are having yeah. a great time, and it yeah. shows, and you have a great time watching the show, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the, you know, I think for right now, we're sitting here in our homes <laughs> going a little crazy. Um, and it's kind of, it, it's an easy show to watch. It's one of those yeah. ones you can binge. You don't, have, you don't have to put a lot of thought to it. You sit there with a cocktail, sitting on the couch with your honey, um, laughing and really kind of escaping and, and, and laughing at other people's expenses is always fun. Always, always good. That's always good. That's <laughs> all we do here on the show is laugh at each other and make fun of each other. <laughs> Going back to, yep. the, to the food, is there any food that you don't like or you don't eat? Per se, you know, the some people don't like sushi or seafood mm -hmm. or red meat. No, that's hard. There's there's really not many things I don't like. Um, LA girl, you must love tacos, right? Tacos all day. Hell yeah. Do you like BDI? You like BDI? Uh, Have you gotten into BDI yet? <laughs> 
No, I'm Leslie, that? by the way. Hey, I'm, this is DJ I'm, Leslie, I'm, by I'm the super, way. I'm the DJ. I was DJing, but I'm, I'm here now. Nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you, too. Pedia okay, tell is, me. What? Pedia's goat, right? Yes. It's goat, oh, it's but, goat. It's, yes. It, but it's the way that they prepare it. So, like, you can have it in a taco, okay. yeah. and then you dip it in the juice. You know who told me about this? Yes. So, you know who told me about this is my co-star, Tim Chaturangsu, told me about these type of tacos and he said they are the bomb so they are definitely on the oh, list good. Mm -hmm. bad thing oh. is is i can't go and get them right now because la's on a lockdown again so i can't go anywhere hey listen um, but tacos are essential list. yes tacos I, are essential free. okay and i believe that the food trucks are still open right so, I hope so. you might still be able to we don't know like it's so confusing what's yeah. open what's closed like what's happening are you wearing a mask you're wearing so a mask crazy. you're not a no masker right Tiff? Thank you. I mean, That's really, all you, have to say. you don't even have to say. You don't I'm even have to say. so no, I, but I understand what you're saying. Like it's it's sadly become a political statement. I think for so many people. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, when this is, has nothing to do with politics, it has to do with people's health. Um, so of course I'm a mask. I mean, I have so many. It's it's the, they're coming out of my butt. I have so many masks. So, there you go. <laughs> Isn't it the worst when you forget the mask in your car? Oh shoot! I forgot. You gotta car. go back to the and car in the house. Oh, that's the worst. I've done that so many times that I've actually corrected that. Now I have a zipper bag full of totally like all different types and shapes for my kids and me in my car. So that will never happen again. Ah, that's good. That's it's very good. smart. I just grab a mask mm -hmm. that's laying around and I put it on. And sometimes it's my wife's. Oh sometimes my it's God. mine. Sometimes <laughs> I don't recognize it. I'm, whose mask is this? And I'm, I put it on because I don't want to, you know, leave the house yeah. without one. You know what I'm saying? Are we color coordinating our masks with our, with our outfits? Is that, or is that too um, I think the kids do sometimes, yeah. I, I've seen the kids kind of do that. My daughter's kind of more into that these days, you know? Um, I'm into the plants in your room. we do leave the house, which, huh? I said, I'm into the plants in your room. Those are really nice. Oh, you are into my you plants? like the foliage? Oh, thanks. Yeah, the I've been, I've, been actually getting, I've been actually getting plants. It's actually pissed my husband off a little bit because uh -huh. he's like, more things to feed in this house. We already yeah. have enough. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Well, no, it's true, but it, they've actually made me happy. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, it makes the air better in our house, and we're sitting in our house so much. True. So Very true. I kind of went plant crazy during quarantine, and I have yeah. quite a few plants over here. Same. Are you talking to your plants? Do you have name you named them? them? Leslie I names their plants. Yeah, 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 I name mine. Yes, they're like children that don't talk yeah. back. Mm -hmm, no, exactly. no, those are that's puppies, not plants. <laughs> <laughs> animals. <laughs> it's really no puppies cool still them. nip. It, they puppies nip. They yap. No, they're not the same. Plants. Plants are easier. Sure. With a yep. food like deliciousness, I'm sure um, there's a lot of people that may be uh, smoking a plant or two while watching because of the munchies. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, I think I think very much uh, that's probably a huge <laughs> uh, a huge part of MTV's viewership. I would I would probably agree with that, and I'm for sure real. this is one another show for them that people will be doing. <laughs> Yo, Deliciousness uh, premieres on the 14th on MTV. Of course, you've gotten this uh, over and over throughout the years. I've heard you in interviews and and print yeah. as well. You were my first crush. I'm sure you've gotten uh, that now. You were yeah. Are you saying? Oh, you're no. just reiterating that you weren't saying that about you. Sorry. DJ Leslie. You were my first crush. Uh, I swear. So Kelly sweet. Kapowski was was uh, the goat. <laughs> the For real. Of time. Kelly Seriously. Kapowski was. She said was man. That's oh, messed no, up. No, it is. It is. Come on, bro. No, it's the greatest of all it. time. It is the I greatest get it. Of Are you time. kidding? This old this old chick over here is turning forty seven next month. I ain't no spring chicken no more. Man. I get it. Listen, if but that's I try. What 47 I, get, looks I, like... I take my vitamins and I drink my water. Mm -hmm. Hannah, mm -hmm. you look good. Respectfully. Thanks, babe. Respect. Oh, you, look great. you look great. And you're on yeah. MTV. Yeah. Uh, you feel me? So, uh, uh, Let's go, uh, man. Go. I know. That's actually pretty. Different. You're right. An old broad on MTV. That's pretty well, good. Well, you're not old. I never old said you're an you're, old broad. No. I, no, I never said that. I mean, I'm not, calling myself that. You're I'm not anywhere I'm not, I'm not young. I'm okay. No, I have no problem talking about my age. I truly not. I've earned so every good. wrinkle and every gray hair on my on my face and my head. So That's so good Believe to know. I own it. That's so good though, because we're all getting a little older. You know, I'm I'm currently kind of struggling with age as well. I'm just kind of like, how did I get here at this age? You know, like how did I turn this age? Um, yeah. So I don't know. It's 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 good to hear other people okay with it. I, I know guess. it's hard. It's not it's not easy, especially I think in now now nowadays with Instagram and everything. You know, in our face constantly all the time. So I I totally get it. But uh, if you don't embrace it, it only just fights you back. So like Absolutely. you gotta embrace it. Yo, seriously, deliciousness happening December 14th on MTV. 
Tiffany Theason. Uh, this has been great. Thank, Thank you, you so much, man. We appreciate same. the energy. Yeah, same. So Next time I'm in New York. I'll hopefully see you guys in person when all no, this wait, shit's listen, over with, right? We are Los Angeles. We're LA. We're LA. Boo. Oh, you are oh, bro. LA. I LA. You guys were calling in from New York. No, no. no. We're Los LA. Can't you, can't you my Los Angeles. Angeles. Look how Mexican we are. <laughs> what? Well, tapping with the brown. <laughs> this is what LA looks like. I love it. Well, hell, when this stuff's over with, I'm coming down for a real interview. We got to have some video tacos, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, and yes, for sure. And I'll bring the hot sauce. Cause I have some Ooh. really good hot Whoa, dogs. whoa. Done and that's done. That's right, that's right. Yep. Tip, yeah, that's a bold do. statement. The party. You're bringing the hot sauce, you're bringing the salsa. But so, I trust, trust you. I'm gonna trust you. I gotta go DJ, but I trust your salsa. I really do. No, no, no. Hot sauce and tequila. I'll bring both. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Okay, now okay. I'm in love. I gotta go. Okay. And when, you get here, we're, and when you get here, we're only speaking Spanish, okay? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Ciao. Do, do you know anything in Spanish? Say adios. 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 That's right. Bye. Adios. Adios.